There's only about a month's worth of fuel left to run the generator. I've been going out looking for more. But no luck. The fog seems to be getting weaker at every sunrise. Have you noticed? Yeah, I've realized that too. There's another chair over there. This is how I knew you were coming. Is this your only line of defense? Well, we have heavy door locks and the alarm system. I'm surprised the mutants haven't torn this place apart yet. Mutants? You mean shadow walkers? It doesn't matter what you call them. They're... They're very resourceful. They destroyed my colony in three days. But what are they? People like us, they... They weren't lucky enough to find shelter in the last days. They got caught in the radiation as well as the explosion from the biochemical weapons. Pregnant women suffered. Their children suffered even more. Humans, deformed and in pain, now are enemies. When I was little, my mother told me that they were the ghosts of the old world that didn't want to go away. Did your mother give you the necklace and earrings? Yeah. She was one of the first to die. Made sure children in the colony were fed first. She was a teacher. I took them to remember her by. It looks like she took good care of you. You look pretty healthy. I never got sick like the others. Something about my immune system being really strong. Maybe a beneficial mutation. <laughs> I found everything I have by salvaging. I dug through the ruins, but I didn't find much. How long have you been out there? Oh, you look tired. There's a mattress and a blanket in the other room. Thanks. I'll be leaving in the morning. You already checked for weapons. I don't have any guns. Yeah, I know. It's just, well, I want to see what you do have. If that's OK with you, of course. Sure. It's been a long time since I was forced to leave the colony. All I can do is take it one day at a time. Still, I have nightmares about those that died at an age 23. I miss my family and all the others. I still can't believe how we got to this point. Our hopes and dreams gone with the snap of a finger. There were billions of people on this small planet. As far as I know, all are dead but a few that survived in small colonies. Most of them are gone now, too. The Earth will eventually heal itself. But will there be any humans left to continue on? And if there are, would they have learned anything or just start doing the same thing all over again? The Earth died, but every day is still a fight to keep hope in my heart. Every day, I dream of that paradise which exists somewhere on this planet. I know, because I have the picture. 
But what will it matter if I find it if I'm alone when I get there? Alone. That's one problem I can't find an answer to. Just checking the weather. Thanks. I've been thinking about going with you. But maybe we'd be safer here. We? Yeah. There are four walls. Some food. <laughs> warm place to sleep. So many memories for me here. These walls are an illusion, Angela. As soon as you run out of fuel, the lights are gonna go off, the freezers are gonna thaw, the alarms are gonna be useless. We'd be no safer in here than out there. Come with me. It's so hard for me to leave. I know, it was hard for me too. But you don't have to say goodbye to your memories. We'll be stronger together. I read your journal. I've been just as lonely as you. But I'd rather be with you than live here by myself. And I'd rather be with you than out there by myself. But soon this place is going to be dark and cold. We need to leave. This will protect us. Isn't that what got us here in the first place? You have a gun, so what? How long until you run out of ammunition? Then we'll run into someone else with a bigger gun and more bullets. But without guns, we'll be defenseless. No, we won't. We've got the most powerful weapon right here. We need to outsmart the dangers. I only have nine bullets left anyway. Come on, there's something I have to get. My mother read these to me when I was younger. I thought I might have use for them one day. Maybe we will. Are you ready? Yeah.